Well, hi, this is Ken with Village Green, and I'm giving you our latest quick tip. This one is on how to set your Rachio controller for watering in the summertime in the Dallas area. So the way you want to set your Rachio controller is to use a fixed schedule, and I'll walk you through why that is. Um, I spoke with the tech support people at Rachio, and what they've told me is that if you're under water restrictions and you can only water one or two days a week, then the Rachio controller will not work in those smart functions that are that are called flex. For those you need, it, they told me at least four days a week for for it to operate properly. So we need to not use the smart function on the Rachio in this area. So when you go into your into your zones, what you want to do. There are really only two settings that matter if you're using fixed. So the two settings you need to do is set it for a clay. We have a choice of sandy loam and loam, loamy sand and clay loam. The one that we have in this area is clay. And then the other part that you need is to tell it what kind of slope. In, in this particular case, it's flat, but in some of the other areas of, of my lawn, there's a slope. And what that's going to do is when we set how many minutes it's going to run, then if it's a flat area on clay, typically it's going to break it up into eight minute bursts. Um, and if it has a slope, it'll reduce it down into even less than that. So for example, if, if we set it at a, at a 30 minute runtime, then it's going to break it up into eight minute bursts until it's run for the full 30 minutes and it'll, it'll have a soak time where it, it waits a little bit to run. So that's how you need to set the zones. And then for the schedule, what you want to do is you, you are not going to be able to use the smart functions of the flex monthly or the flex daily. Those, those are not going to work for us. Um, so what we want is the fixed schedule. We're going to select the zones that, that uh, are on the schedule. For my part, these two are, are drip. So I'm going to set those up on a, on a different schedule. But for the spray heads and the rotary heads, which are what these are, uh, those will all go on to our fixed schedule of twice a week. So I'm going to go to next. I'll name it as a practice schedule. We have specific days. Those specific days I'm going to say are Tuesdays and, and Fridays. We want to start at a specific time. I normally start at midnight just so that we have the, the entire day to work with. And that, that might be important if you, if you have a full, uh, a large lawn with lots of, of uh, zones on it. We are going to start today. End date is never. We'll leave this smart cycle on. This is where uh, the smart cycle is where the the slope and also the type of soil that you have counts. We'll leave all of these. We do want it to skip if there's a lot of rain or freeze or wind and so forth. And then what we're going to do is uh, say this this front bed is a normal spray head that does not turn and it's a sunny area that that is if you look at my guide uh, that is an hour per week per zone these are daily settings so we have two days a week of watering we need 60 minutes we'll divide that by the two days so that means 30 minutes for each day now the front west lawn for me is a rotary zone and for that one, that's twice as long. So I'm going to set that one for an hour per week. I'm sorry, for two hours per week, which means an hour per day of the two of the two days that we have allowed to us. So spray heads are 30 minutes, turning heads or rotating heads or rotary heads, whichever you want to call them, are an hour. Uh, now let's say that the parkway, that that one is spray heads and uh, it's shaded. 
So in that case, normally it would be 30 minutes if it's a lot of sun. I'm going to back that one off to 20 minutes because it's not quite as sunny, so it's not going to need quite as much. And same thing for the east drive. And then I'm going to say the front east is full of sun. So, and those are spray heads, so I'll set that as 30 minutes. The backyard near the patio is rotary heads. I'm going to set that for an hour. And then the last, the fence line is, is shaded, so I'll say that's 20 minutes. So again, 30 minutes per day if it's rotary head, I'm sorry, if it's spray heads, an hour per day if it's rotary heads or rotating heads, and in the shaded areas, then you back off on it just a little bit. So then, as I mentioned a moment ago, it's not gonna run for 30 minutes at a time it's going to look to see that you have clay soil and it's going to run it then in shorter bursts, probably eight minutes at a time until it's used up 30 minutes. Um, and if you have a slope, it's, it's going to reduce that even more and maybe run three, four or five minutes at a time until it's used the 30 minutes. So then you select next, created the schedule, your schedule is created and that is how you set up a, the Rachio controller to water in the Dallas area where we have two days a week of water restrictions. This is Ken with Village Green. Thank you for listening in to our quick tip or watching our quick tip. If you like these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also recommend it to our friends. Village Green, your neighborly landscape company.